Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. Um, so, we're finally getting into the theme month. Uh, now, the previous video, the Tamiya uh, four-wheel drive video, that was obviously an April Fool's joke. I'm not quitting Gunpla or any other Plamo, uh, but I, I might dabble a little bit into the four-wheel drive. I haven't really, I don't know anything about it. It just seems kind of interesting, and I, I don't know. I'm just going to try it and see how it works. So let me explain what the theme months are. Essentially, they allow us to build pretty much outside of our norms. Whether that's a different franchise entirely, or it's just a different brand of a Plamo from a different company like Kotobukiya or Max Factory. So this is just something that we can do in order to broaden our horizons, you know, learn new experiences, and share maybe some of our love of a different franchise, because some people are into uh, particular franchises that another person is not. So if we can pretty much share what we have interest in, who knows, you might actually develop a new fandom and you might be able to share a fandom that you actually enjoy with someone else that didn't have prior knowledge to it. And some of that is actually uh, evident with the LBX February month. There are a lot of people who built kits during that month that they had no idea what LBX was. Now granted, they may have not, not seen the anime at all, uh, but they actually tried their hand at building some models and they actually enjoyed it. Now with 30 minutes mission, that was a little bit of a hiccup because I was in a weird place of you know trying to leave uh, the United States to come back to um, Japan and that really fumbled a little bit with certain things that were going on in the world um, and also I just didn't have a large amount of kits to build during that time frame and uh, uh, you know obviously I was in quarantine so I really couldn't try and get as many kits as I wanted to and um, I will also say that a lot of the kits I really really wanted to build uh, are not out yet. <laughs> They're gonna be coming out in the future months. Um, so I will be building them at that time, but unfortunately I could not build them all within the 30 minute mission month. But I hope a lot of you actually enjoyed that uh, that theme and you can take your built kit and you can submit it within the new type bracket challenge. Now this leads us to this month's theme. And I honestly had no idea I was gonna do this this soon because I really pushed this theme really, really far out because I was not really trying to do it right now. But I kept looking at the, the schedule and I'm like, okay, this would work here, this would work there, and then eventually this month's theme just kind of landed on my lap. But this is what it's going to be. It's going to be Zoids. Now obviously you knew this from the thumbnail, but yeah, it's going to be a Zoids theme month. I've already built and painted one Zoid kit, which I, uh, I have pretty much all the footage for already like done. I just got to edit it and then I can post it. So you're basically going to get two videos of one kit in the next week. Um, now this one I might build a little bit later because it's very small. It's from the Wild series, which I have not seen yet. I've seen two episodes. It doesn't seem too bad. I actually don't uh, mind it. Um, but I am going to try and build this as soon as I can. And I do have a couple of other kits to show you. I also have the Gino Spino. This thing is massive. Uh, I think it lights up in the front. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a light. And then it also moves and this thing spins. It's, it's actually pretty crazy. So I was uh, really wanting to get this because it actually fought the, uh, the Zoid I recently built in the anime series. Uh, spoilers, I guess. I, I've, I've kind of watched ahead on certain uh, scenes. But this just looks really cool and I really, really wanted to build it. So I picked it up. Now the actual kit I'm about to build right now, today, is none other than the HMM Schneider. This is such a beautiful kit and uh, the only series I've seen of Zoids is actually Zoids New Century, I guess, or Zero, whatever you want to call it. And this was one of the kits or one of the uh, suits in it, or armor, or Zoids. I don't know the terminology, but this is one of the ones in it and honestly, I loved it. I want to collect all the um, the Zero, so I want to get the Panzer eventually. I also want to get the Jaeger and then the original Zero. Uh, so yeah, this is the other one I have, and I'm actually going to paint this one. The two wild ones, I'm not going to be painting. Um, I might do some detail work here and there, maybe some light weathering, but for the most part, those two are going to be straight builds with maybe slight details. This is, however, going to be a full painted build. Um, so this might take me a minute, but I'm hoping I can get this done. Um, if it's coming to the point where things are, um, like, too many days are passing and there hasn't been a review, I have a couple of kits on the ground <laughs> that I've been wanting to review. I just kind of keep them there to remind me I have to review them. Uh, one of, no, two of which is a Gundam and some others are random mechas. Uh, but these are things I've had uh, in my backlog for a while that have been built. 
and I want to build those. And I can also snap together one of the wilds because they're very quick to build. So I can probably snap it up in a day and then also review it that, uh, that next day. So, uh, but this is going to be getting uh, unboxed first. So I'll start on that tomorrow. Uh, well, I'll start on the unboxing today, I guess. And then you'll probably get it maybe in the next like four days. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be building and it's going to be default colors. Um, the only thing I have is like some shading and I'll have some weathering, but that's pretty much going to be it. Now you're also thinking, well, what do I do during this month? Do I just build? Yes, you can uh, build or you can do anything else in terms of like promoting Zoids. Um, what I highly recommend is go to r slash Zoids on the Reddit. That's where I'm going to be posting a lot of my stuff at. Or you can also join the Discord and I'll see if I can get a link and I'll post it in the description down below. Um, but the actual hashtag you're going to use if you're on places like Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube is use hashtag Zoids Month. All one word. Hashtag Zoids Month. We're going to use this hashtag so that way we can see each other's work during this month in particular. Um, obviously, if you want to use it past this month, you want to welcome to, but um, I'm going to try and do a compilation, like a summary video, and a lot of people's builds I want to include into the video. Um, now, if you have previous builds from back in the day, you're more than welcome to post those and use that hashtag. Maybe just um, you know make it evident that it is an old build. It's not something that's for this uh, particular theme. Like it wasn't built during this month. Uh, but you can post things like that. You could share stories of you know how you came into um, the fandom of Zoids. You can really do a lot of things. Um, but I really hope that you can you know at least open your mind if you haven't you know watched it or built any kits yet. And who knows? You actually might enjoy this hobby. Um, I think the HMM line is pretty crazy the price tags are insane so i know you know i, I announced this um this theme and it's like you have 30 days to build this kit but you also have 30 days to acquire the kit um and with the whole you know corona thing going on a lot of shipment has been delayed so i do understand if you cannot partake in this uh, particular theme just because of the shipping or even the cost of the zoe itself you can get some of the walk uh the walking zoids for fairly cheap but i do understand if you can't get an HMM Kotobukiya because it's just too much. Um, I'll see if I can find a couple of links um, and, and post them in the comments section for you to go to and shop around. Um, to my knowledge, New Type doesn't carry uh, HMM Kotobukiya stuff, but they do have it at Hobby Link Japan, uh, Ami Ami, which I actually did buy. I bought, I bought another Zoid from there, which is going to be hopefully at the end of the month. I'll paint and build that one. Um, and Mandarake is another uh, good one, uh, but the prices are still going to be fair, fairly high. And if you're looking for a particular one that might be super rare, good luck. Uh, it might be sold out or just the, the price has skyrocketed. I know um, the Shadow Fox is one I want. Finding a Shadow Fox for a good price is extremely difficult, so I might be out of luck unless I can find it out in the wild whenever I'm finally able to leave the base. Um, but really, that's it, guys. Um, join the Reddit if you can. Join the Discord if you can. Uh, please talk to us. Uh, a lot of the work in progress stuff I'm going to be posting uh, primarily in the Discord, both my Discord and the Zoids Discord, as well as in the Kotobukiya Discord. Um, just, just the HMM stuff, obviously not the wild stuff. Uh, but I do want to post as much as I can. I'll try to get the Zoids subreddit and the Zoids Discord to join in the fun and share their stuff. Um, honestly, this is just a really cool, fun thing for me to do because I never built an HMM. I, I haven't built any Zoids before. So building a Zoid for the first time is actually pretty damn cool. Um, and obviously, you know, Gumpla is something I've always known, but finally branching out, man, it feels very much refreshing. LBX has been a blast. I love LBX. 30 minute mission, I loved it since the day, you know, day it dropped. I love 30 minute missions. And now we have Zoids. So it, it's just a really good time. Uh, but I do hope y'all participate. I'll try and post as much links and stuff in the description and the comments. Um, you know, you can ask questions, you can PM me, uh, you can DM me, whatever. Uh, just let me know what kind of questions you have and hopefully I can answer all of them. But remember, use that hashtag Zoids Month for all of your uh, Instagram posts. But I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.